We present the mobile application SpiderWeb, which enables social networking on mobile devices. After installing it, SpiderWeb can be launched from the application's folder. We click on the SpiderWeb icon and the application starts. After registering a user profile, we click the login button and select Anto. We type the password of the username Anto. The application displays the notification screen. We see the notifications of Anto and his friends, such as updated GPS positions, send messages, etc. From here, several actions are available to the user through the icons in the bottom of the screen. Let's have a look at our business card. We click the third icon and we can see that the business card shows the user's portrait, username, gender, country, city and the last time they were online. By clicking options, we can see our full profile. From here, we can also update the user profile. Now let's click back to get back to the notification screen. By clicking on the cloud icon, the user is able to change their current status. A text box is shown and we can write what we're doing. After typing a message, we click on OK and see that our message appears on the notification screen. Let's find some people. By clicking on the magnifying glass icon, we can look for new users. The user is able to find people using different filtering criteria. In this example, we choose the filtering criteria female gender. The application gets a list of users who pass the selected criteria. Now we choose Marta and we can see either her full profile or only her business card depending on whether we are friends or not. In our example, user Marta is not a friend. However, we are able to send Marta a text message or contact invitation. We type our message and send it. Normally, we would like to send messages to our friends, so let's have a look at them. If we click the friends icon, we can see the friends of the user. Let's click on Egle. We can see her full profile. Clicking on the option button, we can get her latest GPS position and zoom in a bit. We can also see the list of Egla's friends. If we click on Johnny, for example, we can see his business card. We can also send a picture message to Egla, like so, and take a picture. Let's add some text. And after a few clicks, the message is sent. Of course, we can also send text messages. And now for my virtual world. When in offline mode, the user is able to use a Bluetooth connection for peer-to-peer -peer communication. This network serves as an environment for exchanging various content. Users of the application are able to exchange their business cards, messages and contact invitations. Apart from the user, three more people are always visible in the virtual world. If the user approaches the barmaid, for instance, they can see all the rules of the virtual world. By approaching the guy sitting at the table, the user initiates a Bluetooth discovery by the application. If other spiderweb users are within Bluetooth range, they will enter the virtual world. Two different girls have now entered the virtual world and the friends icon is on. That means that at least one friend is near the user. If we get close to them, we can see their picture and username in the top of the screen. We approach Egle and we can see a business card and send Bluetooth messages. Then we approach Marta and we send a Bluetooth contact invitation. When we receive a contact invitation, the specific icon will be shown on the top of the screen. We approach the girl seated at the table and click on the invitation list to accept the invitation. As we can see, the clothes of Marta changed since Anto and Marta are now friends. When the user receives a Bluetooth message, they approach the girl sitting at the table and click on chat to read all the Bluetooth messages received. Exit the virtual world, the user simply goes out the door. 